We're Jonathan and Jennifer with Well-Traveled Life, and today we are in Kona, Hawaii. Hawaii is a state in the United States, and it's comprised of multiple islands. It's a little confusing, though, because Hawaii is also one of those islands. It is the biggest island, and it is called the Big Island. So it's the Big Island of Hawaii in the state of Hawaii. Figure that part out. On the island of Hawaii, you've got two cities, essentially two major ports, at least if you're going by cruise ship, that you would dock at. One would be Kona and the other is Hilo. Hilo is on the rainy side of the island. Kona is on the sunny side of the island. If you're going to do whale watching, you might want to try Kona unless you're okay whale watching in the rain, which there is a whale watching outlet in Hilo and it's worth trying. Just know that you might get worse weather over on that side. Hilo is also closer to Volcanoes National Park. So if you're wanting to go do the volcanoes, you might want to do that from Hilo also. So Kona, what's Kona? Kona is this really wonderful beachy side of the island. It's the sunny side of the island. And I'm gonna take you snorkeling. I had a fabulous day and let's start it out. Kona is a tender port, meaning that your ship will anchor out off the coast and then you'll have to take the lifeboats into shore. It's not a long ride, 10 minutes at the most. It's, it's fairly easy, but if you're planning an excursion, you may want to give yourself a little extra time to get off the boat and get into shore. Once you get on land, you've got beaches to the left and to the right. That part's easy. All beaches in Hawaii are public, so use any of them that you like. I came to Kona specifically to do some snorkeling. They've got great beaches and great marine wildlife, and I'm here to see it. I wasn't exactly sure where to go, and so while you're in town and Kona, when you get to port, it is right in town. You've got easy access to shops, cafes, restaurants, very lively, high energy part of the island, really a lot of fun. I found Boss Frogs, which is a great snorkel shop. They had, I couldn't believe, rates on snorkel equipment. I bring my own snorkel equipment, so I didn't need to rent anything, but I thought what better place to go ask where I should go and I had the best experience. The owner pulled out a map, showed me where to go, and told me how to get there. Okay, it's Aloha Friday. My name is Danny. I'm here at Boss Frogs. Come see me for the best recommendation of the island, best value on gear, and more Aloha than you can shake a stick at. Kona has a really terrific transportation system. There are public buses, they're very inexpensive, and it's an easy way to get around. There is also though the Kona trolley and the Kona trolley is free. So price wise, you can't beat it. And as long as it isn't too crowded, feel free to use it. We did have some drivers asking if we were cruise ship passengers and if they are full, they will ask cruise ship passengers to not take the bus. They really wanna save those for locals and for people staying at the resorts that are right on that main road. But everybody uses the trolley. It's a great way to get around. It's open air, meaning that you've got windows that are open and so you get fabulous views on both sides of the street, either of the hotels and the homes on one side or right out to the beaches and the ocean on the other side. The Kona Trolley Stop is at the Kona Inn Shopping Village, right at the three-way stop corner. There is a sign here, and the trolley will come by once an hour, although later in the day it tends to get a little late, so watch your times carefully. I picked up the trolley on the three-way stop that's right at the edge of town. Really easy, and you just wait there. The trolley will come by once an hour, uh, and, and that's in general. You kind of need to watch your watch and know what time you get picked up. And if you're looking for a ride at the same time, be there five to 10 minutes early, but be prepared to wait. On my way home, it was over a 45 minute wait past the time that the trolley was supposed to be there. So the later in the day, they tend to run a little bit later. If you're in a time crunch, you need to really watch that and maybe getting a trolley back isn't the best way to go because you may have a long wait. I had about a 15 minute wait for the trolley to pick me up and I had a 45 minute wait, as I said, for it to come get me on the way back. And that was long because I had actually gotten there just at the time that I had been dropped off two hours later. And again, the only thing you need to worry about 
is know where you're going so that you can tell the driver. They'll help you get off at the right place. And if you need a ride back quickly, you're going to be better off to Uber or use some other transportation option. Stops everywhere you need to stop. So all along the route, it will stop. So I think I had a probably five mile drive that took over 15 minutes to get there just because there were lots of stops on the way. But that's part of the fun of it and it's part of a communal transportation system and I really enjoyed it. I got to Kahalu Beach Park, the snorkel spot, and was able to leave my stuff on the beach. I found a, a nice couple and I just asked if they would watch my stuff and told them nobody else should be touching it besides me. But I felt pretty comfortable leaving my stuff there with somebody just kind of keeping up. That worked out really well. The beach that I went to has snack bar and public restrooms as well as lifeguards and an incredible reef system right there walking from the beach and it's in sort of a tidal pool area. So I had really great snorkeling. Uh, I think you'll enjoy seeing my eels, two different ones, and lots of colorful fish was just great snorkeling. As you're getting off of the tender boat, you won't find a bunch of vendors waiting to sell you things or take you on tours. You are in the heart of town and you've got lots of shopping, but this isn't where you're gonna probably be able to book a tour immediately. There is a little beach off to the right and a bigger beach off to the left. And this is the resort beach, but all beaches in Hawaii are public. So you are welcome to come and spend as much time here as you like. And you can use their facilities. So it makes it for a great day at the beach. Directly across the street from the beach, you are in Kailua Kona and there are lots and lots of shops, restaurants, and things to do immediately at the port. If you're coming to Hawaii to do shopping, I think this is the place to do it. The shops are all really accessible. You have lots of little shopping mall areas, so boutique shops, as well as your bigger, better known shopping venues like the ABC stores or Hilo Hatties. Both of those are chain stores and will offer a variety of souvenirs, snacks, clothing, basic drugstore equipment, as well as things you might use while you're in the islands like snorkeling equipment, beach items, and boogie boards. Kona can feel a little touristy, especially on a cruise ship day when it's extra crowded. But I hope that you will take some time to see some of the local history, culture, and lifestyle. Where else do you find teachers with ukuleles managing the children on their school field trip? Hawaii's first Christian church, the Moko Akua, was closed for a restoration project, but it is right in the center of town. And you can get onto the grounds and there is lots to see. down the beach towards my snorkeling spot was a great way to get a glimpse of this part of the island. You'll pass by all of the resorts, smaller boutique hotels, as well as amazing homes that dot the coastline or nestle in the hills. They certainly give you a lifestyle to dream about. You don't have to go five or six miles down the road. There are other great beaches along the way. But I want to give another shout out to Danny B at Boss Frogs for giving me the resources to get where I was looking to go. And I hope that you will enjoy the snorkeling footage that I've got here. I was so excited by what I saw and it really was such an easy beach to swim from and 
I just can't thank Danny enough for giving me what I needed to go have the day I was looking for.
Thanks for joining us in Kona. We have one more trip in Oahu. Follow along for that. We're going to circle the island and see everything that's to see around the island of Oahu. Much smaller than Hawaii.